Hey guys, let's talk a little bit today about how do I start a, forming a, my own little group. Um, do stuff. It's as simple as that. Do stuff. Find somebody that you've met at one of these events or meet and greets or in your church or in your neighborhood um, and start doing stuff. <clears throat> Uh, once you start doing stuff and people go through a shared experience together that sometimes is a little difficult like maybe backpacking and things like that you start to form a common bond my second piece of advice is to once you've done a few things and you do stuff and you realize okay this is gonna work between me and this person or me and these other people is to open up a little bit open up with um, your knowledge share knowledge between each other things you know how to do or things you just learned and ask their opinion on them um, the other thing is uh, uh, share concerns with each other be it the threat assessment for your area or your community share concerns that you may have about um, the amount of food that your family could actually live on possibly discuss things like that share your concerns about um, what's going on in your community where the uh, uh, linchpins are that could cause your community to fall apart the town you live in um, so that's my second piece of advice first piece is do stuff together form bonds uh, second piece is share stuff open up talk about things <clears throat> my third piece of advice is to once you've done that follow up keep doing that bring other people in that you feel are compatible and do the same things with them start building the group little by little it's just this same cycle of doing stuff and then sharing your knowledge and sharing concerns and follow up continually doing that and you will build trust with each other uh, you'll learn how to work with each other um, and slowly as that evolves bring your family into it have a family barbecue a picnic uh, do a little event together um, it's intimidating to some and intimidating to most but it's not that difficult if you find that you have started doing that with people and it's just not clicking don't force it um, politely somehow back out <clears throat> and try again with another group of people but let let the ones previously uh, do their thing and continue to grow um, that's how you create this network of communities just people starting little groups and you find out hey our neighbors down the road have their own little group you never know get together both groups might merge into one large group and then before you know it the next town over has a couple little groups and the next town over and um, you introduce yourself to somebody and you start interacting and you end up with a network of small mags all over the place uh, that is what um, Arkansas preparedness network keyword network is about uh, helping you develop your own little tribe and then once you've developed your own little tribe connecting you with other little tribes so we can strengthen the state of Arkansas and strengthen our own communities here in the state by having multiple networks everywhere of people willing to help each other out and willing to support each other in our growth of our own communities that we live in uh, by coming to APN and, and sharing things that are working for you on our Facebook page and sharing uh, uh, opinions about stuff, constructive criticism and and hopefully in the future getting a few more people to uh, make some videos on on things that they do that work 
Uh, I'd like to see more of that. People submitting their videos or their, you don't have to do a video. Instructions on how you made this, that, or the other on our Facebook page. Um, so yes, it's, it's an intimidating process, but it's a simple process on how to start forming just little communities. And like I said, is once you meet somebody at one of these meet and greets, um, take the next step. Ask them out to lunch. Tell them that you know you're going to be camping out at wherever, uh, and if you want to come out and camp with us, go for it. Start doing stuff together. Go for a bike ride. Go for a hike. Uh, go meet at the local Starbucks and just talk, or wherever you like to or wherever you feel comfortable out in public. Um, so, in summary, do stuff. And then after you do stuff, share more and more of your knowledge. Share more and more of your concerns. Discuss them. Talk about what's working for you, what's not working. Ask their opinion. Accept their opinion. And uh, follow up and bring more people in little by little that you think will fit the personalities that you have. And if you find that your personalities aren't fitting, gracefully bow out, but keep that bridge open, keep that door open, and uh, um, go find another small group that's functioning or form your own again. Uh, if you want to do something, uh, come to our Facebook page and say, hey, I'm so-and-so, I'm over, I'll be passing through such-and-such such a town, anybody want to do lunch on this day at this time? feel free come to our Facebook page uh, if you're a member of our Facebook page and uh, <clears throat> put out an invite to people hey I'm, I'm gonna be in such and such park having a barbecue um, all are welcome I know that's a, a stretch you know inviting strangers to your barbecue but I think you get the gist of things um, these are the techniques that work use Arkansas Preparedness Network as your tool. That's what we are. We are a resource for you. So get on the Facebook page. Um, send us, if you don't want to be on the Facebook page, send us an email at arprepnet -E at gmail.com and let us know that you'd like to get something started uh, in a particular area. <clears throat> and we will get on Facebook for you and say, hey, we're looking for people in this area uh, You know, to start something up. All right, guys. Um, I'm Adam, if you don't know me. I am one of the admins at Arkansas Preparedness Network. There are only four of us, so when you send us an email, it goes to one of the four. It's held confidential, not discussed with anybody else, uh, unless we get your permission to discuss it on YouTube or the Facebook page. Send us, please go to our YouTube page, uh, like, and comment on our videos. That's what keeps us rolling. That's what keeps our videos getting out there. Um, subscribe to us. Refer your friends and family to us. We won't hurt them to watch a video. We, we, we do a lot out on there. And if you know anybody that might want to be a member of the Arkansas Preparedness Network and join our Facebook group, uh, tell them to look us up on Facebook. They have to answer three simple questions. It's just, it's nothing major. We're not asking anything big. Answer the questions, and then we'll approve you to join. It's just to keep the standard lookers and gawkers out. You know, we're, we want to keep quality people in there and quality conversations. All right. This is Adam from Arkansas Preparedness Network, and I'm out of here. You guys have a great day. Bye.